Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing part one of the ATRT for the clones, and we're going to be painting the driver today. Um, I have them clipped on this little alligator clip on a stick. Um, you can get them on Amazon, they're super convenient. I wanted to paint him separate because um, I wanted to prime the ATRT black so I can paint that um, differently. So we're going to start with him, and like how we always paint our clones, we're going to start with our black first from Vallejo. Um, this guy is a little bit different than all the other ones uh, because he actually has colors on him instead of um, all the other guys that don't have <laughs> any color on them pretty much. Uh, is this open? No, it's not. And that should be part of the back. I don't, that should be closed. I don't think that's black. So we're gonna go here. We'll work on painting his butt first. Star Wars videos do better than all my other ones on my channel. But it's not all Star Wars videos. I think it's because these guys are relatively new that people watch them. Because I did a Princess Leia video and that got like no views. So I don't know what's up with that. I wanted to test it. I was testing you guys to see if it was Star Wars models or if it was new Star Wars models. And it seems like it's new Star Wars models. Unless it's clones, because then I can paint more of these guys. And get the same results. I'm going to take him off this really quick, because I keep stabbing myself with it. And that's not fun. So he mostly has colors on him, except in here is white still, and there's some white on the top of his head too, so try to preserve that as much as possible. I've seen lots of videos on YouTube lately on how to paint with tremors. Um, I don't really have any tips. I just kind of try my best to control them while I'm painting. Um, and as you can see, it's not always, it doesn't always work, but try your best to have as much points of contact on the surface that you're touching, you're painting as possible. Oops. And that'll minimize it a lot more. Um, so you can see I have my finger in, in there to help stabilize it. And this is okay that if we're touching other stuff because as long as we're not touching the face we'll be okay. Because like I said this guy has is actually painted and actually has colors on him. This is the phase two version of ATRT. Um, my army is mostly all phase two guys. I don't use the phase ones. Well, I'm using phase ones right now as proxy because phase twos I can't find anywhere because Fantasy, Fantasy Flight hasn't reprinted them. So they're a bit of a pain to come by right now. So I only have the one squad of them, but I plan to have three. And I painted them all different colors. So I have the 501st, of course, because Rex is my leader. And then I have Fox's group and Cody's. I think the 212 is Cody. Not 100% sure on that, though. Let's 
Let's get these really close bits first with this small brush and then we'll move on to a bigger brush. So I'm trying not to make a mess. Key, try, try is the key word here. Okay, let's get the, the hand. I'll get the little bit of this. I won't really paint this yet um, until I'm ready to put it onto the speeder because I still need a spot to grab onto when this is all getting painted. Coverage on there. Okay, Let's switch to a bigger brush really fast. That's one of the biggest hits, but you know, can't really tell in the in those shin cracks, so it'll be okay. Let's go here. Let's get our big brush and get this the rest of this blaster painted. So dry here. Just slop it on. I'm not ruining the paint. Okay, so now that we have, oh, let me just get the bottom of it real quick. So now all the black is down. We can get to the rest of him. Okay, so these guys are, like I said, have color on them. So what we're gonna use, uh, the bulk of it, is going to be this, uh, we'll, we'll do this, we'll do this in order. We'll do, yeah, so, Uniform Green from v Vallejo is for the chest and the whole chest armor and the, um, there's like these little stripes on his head. Um, I think they look like this probably because in the movie they were on Kashyyyk, but like when you got to see them, but in the show, they're in a lot more places, so maybe they're just supposed to be depending on the, the area that they're in. But we're just going with the info that we have. Some weird positions, some awkward areas for me to go through with the paint, but we'll get there, we'll get there. I'm gonna leave the backpack to be the secondary color um, just because I don't think it would this color I'm not sure though but it's, you just have to make your decisions you don't have to paint the clone troopers the clone trooper color you don't have to paint them all white if you don't want to you can paint them all black you could but I like to make mine as close 
the movie as I can, so I looked at the reference and this is all I got. Of his helmet really quick so it's gonna be like like three stripes they're pretty big there's one there in the middle and then two on the sides One on that side, and then one on that side. So we got our three stripes. His helmet, and that's white up there, so we're good. Um, cool, and I think that's it for the green. Let me just touch up the inside of there. Okay. Get this strap here. Okay. Let's touch up this black right here. Okay. So now that we have our green done, let me double check my reference here. And the reference being, okay, good. <laughs> I was thinking the reference being the box art uh, right now because I don't, I guess I don't have my, I only have my phone, so. Okay. So now for the, pretty much the rest of the armor. Well, here, let's do the middle part first. We'll do, get this gray, medium sea gray, uh, for the middle of his helmet, the little mouthpiece that's in there. A little touch of gray in there so you can see it. I think this is white. That's oh, black. Okay. So there's some more spots that we have to get, but we can. So let's get in his helmet here and get this guy. Okay, so we got into his mouth and got that painted gray. And also, while we are here, get our black that's still wet and we gotta paint this little antenna that's on the helmet. Just the antenna though, not the little ball that attaches to the helmet, just the, the stick that sticks out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we can get the rest of this armor. And that's going to be this German camo beige World War II. Um, no, it's not the perfect color, but I think once we wash it, it's gonna make it look right. So let's start from the top. And we'll get these little hangy bits on the helmet here. The cheek bits here. It goes all the way up to in here and connects into the helmet. It's a little tight in there, so be careful. Um, Okay. 
Okay. And we got it. I think the back of the helmet's still white. And then let's go to the shoulder pads. Oh, they are, okay. So pretty much all the rest of the armor is this color. So. Go nuts. Be careful. Remember, he's going to mostly be covered up by the by the ATRT that he's sitting on, so you don't have to be crazy precise here. That's why I didn't get the black inside of his arms right there. It's okay if it's not super thick, the paint, because we are going to wash it. And the white showing through actually helps us a little bit. So it'll all make sense when we get there. Hopefully. No promises. Oops. I touched it really quick. I really touched that. This is really awkward, I'm sorry for the video quality. It keeps having trouble focusing. Um, just because I don't have a base for this model to kind of pin it in place, I have to maneuver it differently than all my other stuff. Um, Remember I said there's gonna be like little bits here and there poking through, but that's okay because of how this gets washed, it's going to be okay. So now that we're pretty much covered up all the detail-y spots that we need to be careful, we can get the bigger brush out and just really clean, get the rest of this finished up. So get the under here. You don't really have to paint the the butt if you don't want to because um, it is going to be on top of the ATRT and the glue whatever the glue you use might not work with paints so just be careful with that when you're deciding if you're gonna paint this part or not if you are painting them separately if you're painting them like all built as one that's fine too but and you won't have to see it because it'll already be missing
You can see it's kind of streaky, but that's fine. Especially if we're going for more like the animated series. Like, if you watch the animated Clone Wars, you know how they look. So, you can be as dirty as you want with it. Same thing for under the feet. Those are going to be covered in like the stirrups of the ATRT. So, you don't have to get the bottom of them if you don't want to. Also, if you're going to build this model, if you're going to build this model, putting it together is the worst thing ever. The instructions are not how you build instructions. I say they're not instructions. They are like a exploded view and they don't tell you how to put the parts on for what pose you want. It is literally the worst model I've ever built from Fantasy Flight. Um, would not recommend it unless you really want ATRT uh, for your clone army because it is a pain in the ass. Definitely look up on YouTube if you can find a tutorial on how to put it together unless you unless you have like some spare instructions from the rebel one laying around somewhere because it is rough okay so that does it for the painting port like the main painting portion so now we're gonna go into washes so like all of our clones they get the white parts will get this non oil oil wash um, that'll get inside our visor for us and get that nice and good the rest of it though we're going to use a different wash uh, we're going to use a military shader and what that's going to do it's a green shade and that's going to tone down a lot of this stuff and make it look more coherent. Let's just get him his head all fixed out. Also giving the the khaki a lot more time to dry. Because it sure needs it. Okay, so get, that gives us our head nice and complete. Now we can move on to this other color. This is still kind of wet, so try to find something to set it in while you... I have some styrofoam up here. I can stab it in while I'm grabbing some other brushes. Um, let me get my brush here okay so we're going to that so that was non oil for the head now we're going to use the army painter military shader quick shade and that is our green wash that will be for the whole rest of this guy so let's grab him and we'll start from like kind of the order that we painted it so we can see there's still some wet spots on there. Um, but let's get this chest armor painted up. You can see it adds a nice shaded green to the whole thing. Kind of brings it together. Also a little fill in all our nasty cracks that we have. Okay. 
Now let's get the cheek bits here. They still look kind of wet. I don't know if I want to fuck with this yet. Um, let's try some of the spots where we went a little thin on. So let's go here. And just kind of incorporate it into the the paint, and you can see it's taint is tinting it a little bit. And that's what we want. We want that that greenish color for this armor. It's wet still, but let's try it. Yeah, it's not bad. Make sure you get the whole thing. still wet <laughs> you would def if you're doing this at home for sure wait for the paint to dry before you go crazy like me um, because you will smear it and it'll be kind of weird but I'm just gonna work with it here do my best to keep it going anywhere else just wipe off your brush between sections and then that can help out a little bit you don't want to yeah see like I'm doing right here I'm exposing some of that white isn't the best thing to be doing. <laughs> Let's give this a little bit more time. Let's hold it in front of a, these hot ass lights and let that shit kind of settle on it a little bit more. It's not looking terrible. Definitely looking like a, like a trooper. looking like what he's supposed to look like. Try to pull some of this off so it's not as harsh of a green. You can mix it with water too or um, I think uh, Games Workshop sells like a thinner something called like Lamian Medium. I don't have any of that stuff. I've never used it. Uh, but I also don't thin my washes ever so Maybe it would look better if I did, but like I said, we're just about painting models and getting them done and making them look tabletop ready. And I think I do a pretty good job of that. Get that off. Let's get some of that cleaned up so it's not as foggy in there. Kind of brush it around. Cool. And then let's go a little bit here. Kind of clean that up a little bit. Cool. And there. We have it. We have a Amy is getting there. ATRT driver. For the Republic. Get you some pictures there. Kinda like the exposed white right there because it makes it look a little bit more rugged and used but here we go thanks for joining us we'll see you next time when we're going to paint his his ride in part two thanks for watching